Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, I am not going to do any pre-pictures here. I'm just going to jump right into the spray in this August card kit from Hero Arts. So, I, we, we got two sprays, a clear shimmery and a blue shimmery. And here I'm taking some of that watercolor paper, that real thick stuff that came in last month's kit, and I'm going to use it for the stencil. Now, here I tried to use the leftover spray as a stencil itself, and this is what I got. I was like, uh, not going to work. <laughs> so then I just kept smushing it all the way around, almost like a smushing technique. And so I got a really nice stencil image here, and then I got more of like a smushy galaxy on the other one. I like them both, so we're going to go with it. Notice how strategic my shirt is there, matching my little um, card making here. So I'm making four masculine cards. I did not plan that, by the way. Oh, and this shirt is making an appearance because normally you'll see my gray sweatshirt, side note, but I got this new shirt and those are not holes, those are for my thumbs. Anyway, moving on, I'm using some Stampin' Up! Night of Navy cardstock here. I had to make four congratulations cards masculine. And so I cut out that watercolor paper with my Simon Says Stamp balloons and I'm going to back it with some fun foam using some really strong adhesive score tape. I have an inch thick and a eighth of an inch thick. So I'm covering that full foam sheet on the back. Okay, so this way the um, watercolor paper will not warp and it'll have some dimension on top of the cardstock. Notice I rounded the corners for my cardstock there. And there's two embellishments that I'm going to place on all four of these cards. Um, I'm going to use these silver stars that I got, confetti stars. Don't know where I got them. You can pick confetti up anywhere. So different sizes and I'm just placing that on and then also white enamel dots. So this kind of kept with the white navy blue theme for the entire card. Here I have a congratulations. This is from a Simon Says Stamp Kit. I believe it's the May card kit. Um, but I wanted to use, obviously I'm making congratulations cards for four folks. And I wanted to make sure that I had an appropriate sentiment. With this card kit that came with the um, Hero Arts, there wasn't anything really that could fit a masculine card. So I'm making some tags there, and that is it. I finished off those cards, putting them on Nina Solar White 110-pound paper, um, card stock rather, and that'll do it for the first set of cards that I made using the spray. Okay, so now we're going to get into some bright some vibrant love. Do you see this purple? I mentioned this in a previous video, the top of my ink pad, because I used to store the little ink foamies, and then they were piled on top of each other. Anyway, I'm still a little devastated over it, but I will move on. Here I am putting my four favorite color combination on this watercolor. This is Canson XL watercolor, and I'm just getting a nice little blend there. I'm going to make two cards. And next, I'm going to just place it in a box and use the clear spritz, so the clear shimmer spray that came with the kit. Make sure you shake that stuff up really well. And I am just letting it do its own magic. I've done this technique in the past. I actually got it from Julie Ebersole. I love it. It is so pretty and so vibrant and just the way they mix together. Um, I like the subtlety of the white space at the bottom. And I actually let these dry overnight. They were taking really long to dry. But they are they end with a very shimmery, um, pearlescent finish because of that spray. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the images from the kit and just make this pop. Oh, my gray sweatshirt's back. <laughs> That's my favorite sweatshirt. Anyway, okay. So I am using some Black Versa Fine Onyx ink. And I'm using black embossing powder. You could use clear ink with black embossing powder or black ink with clear embossing powder. Um, so I just don't know what I was doing here. I just saw the ink there and grabbed it. All right. Now, next I'm doing the next card. And here I'm using the little girl holding, I guess, I guess she's holding balloon strings. So I made my own balloons. I liked the cloud in there. And then I also liked the stars. And so I just made her holding on to those three balloons. I put sentiments on the front, and you notice there's a lot of warping happening. So what I'm going to do to try to combat that is use Fun Foam to straighten it out. Before I do that, I'm going to use my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen, 
and I'm going to give some shimmer around that black cardstock, which will be a matte. Then I'm taking my fun foam, super sticky, and I'm going to first place that down on the back of the panel. Then I'm going to use three strips of one inch score tape. Normally I wouldn't use this much, but I wanted full coverage. I wanted it to absolutely flatten out. Fun foam, the score tape on top of another black cardstock panel is going to help combat that warping. Now I used fairly thick. I'm going to guess this is about 80 pound black cardstock. It's from Stampin' Up. And so here you can see how flat I was able to get that. Once I put that on the card base, it's going to be flattened out even more. So fixed. Here I'm just adding some Tombow Mono Adhesive to the back of the black and I'm going to place that on. Before I finish up though, I'm going to do the inside of the card and I'm going to take those same four colors and some of those that starry stamp that came in the kit and I'm just going to place that on the bottom just to add a little bit of something on the inside of the card. Not much, just a little something. I finished it off with some Pretty Pink Posh clear sequins and that will do it for those cards as well. This was so much fun to play with these sprays. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you liked the cards. If you have any comments, I always love hearing from you. Please don't forget to hit subscribe to see more from me and you can find me in other forums below. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.